Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'll talk about what significant digits are and the rules to count them. First, let's measure the length of this pencil. We have three different rulers that can do the job. The first has no markings, but we know it's 10 centimeters long. The second has centimeter markings, and the third has millimeter markings. When we measure the pencil with the first ruler, we estimate about eight centimeters long. With the second ruler, we realize it's a little longer, so we estimate about 8.4 centimeters long. Finally, with the last ruler, we can see the pencil is somewhere between 8.5 and 8.6, so we estimate 8.55 centimeters long. The different rulers show us accuracy in measurements from least accurate to most accurate. We can also see accuracy with the number of digits in our measurements. The least accurate has only one digit, then two, and finally the most accurate has three digits. Significant digits show accuracy. Let's go over the rules for counting significant digits. The first says that all non-zero digits are significant. This number, for example, has five significant digits. Second, zeros placed before all non-zero digits are not significant. So this example will only have two significant digits. Third, zeros placed between non-zero digits are significant. This has three significant digits. Fourth, zeros placed after other digits to the right of a decimal are significant. So this example has four significant digits. This last example is confusing and should be written in scientific notation as all digits in scientific notation are significant. These three ways of writing the same number show different accuracies of measurements. Lastly, let's go over the rules for rounding after making calculations with measurements. When adding or subtracting, we look at the number of digits after the decimal. In this example, the first measurement has one digit after the decimal and the second has two. So our answer can only have one since it is only accurate as our least accurate measurement. When multiplying or dividing, we look at significant digits. Here, the first number has two significant digits and the second has three. So our answer can only have two. Always look for the weakest link in your measurements. Try this bonus question and let me know your answer in the comments. I hope this video helps you to understand significant digits. Be sure to subscribe for more content.